Hi guys, it's Reaper of Power here from PureMedia.info. Here, going to go over how to install Plex Media Server on Ubuntu. Um, we're going to be using 14.04 today, but this will work on pretty much anything after uh, version 10. So, uh, the setup's going to be basically the same. So, always what we want to do before we get started, we want to make sure that everything is up to date. So let's uh, app get update. Oh, we gotta sudo that. So make sure we get some privileges here. App get update. Okay, let's let that update here. And I'm gonna be following uh, the how-to guide that is listed over on PureMedia.info. Uh, the link will be in the description below for you. So if you do need that, yeah, there's a written walkthrough. But of course, you could always pause the video if you get to some point where you're not sure what to do. So we went ahead and updated it. Let's go ahead and upgrade as well, just to make sure that if there's anything that look at that something's not updated. So let's update that real quick. Um, and in short, Plex Media Server uh, is basically a media management system. It lets you you know manage all your local media and access it remotely. Now, typically with this kind of a server, you want to make sure that you have at least one gigabyte of RAM, as well as you want to have a, a processor that's going to support your streaming needs because if you, you're you going to be using uh, my computer clients that don't really require transcoding then you know pretty much any dual core processor is going to do fine but if you need a transcode video that would be like your Roku's or your Amazon Fire those those things require the transcoding which you know, you're going to need more processing power to do that so you want to make sure that you have at least a 1500 pass mark for at least one stream. So if you're going to be having three Roku's at a time, three transcodes, you want to have 1500 for each of those. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's download the Plex Media Server. And it's going to be the latest version that's on their website right now. That's going to be 9.16.3.1840 wow so we'll go ahead and get that downloaded here then once that's downloaded it's going to be a quick install we're just going to sudo dpackage install and just use the the package name that we just downloaded now if you are watching this after new versions came out you also want to edit that to be the latest version um, so we went ahead looks like got the install complete there already and it shows Plex media server started or running on process 16874 so we're all set there so let's go ahead and go to our local host or in this case it is a remote so we will have to go to the address for that so that's 192.168 see where is that one that is Six one one two eight six one one two eight. And that's colon thirty two four hundred slash web to access the web client. There we go. Looks like it's up and running and we're good to go there. Now if you're doing a remote install like I am right now, you also want to do the, the setup as local. Now because the server's not with us right now, we want to, you know, tunnel into that. So what we're going to do is in our client, which I'm using PuTTY right here for SSH. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to change settings. And from there, we're going to go to SSH and tunnel. And then on that screen there, you'll see source port 32400. And the destination is going to be local host and 32400 we're going to add that and apply the setting there now if I go to local host 3200 web you'll see now Plex loads just the same as if it was local that way it will run the setup guide because without being local you'll just get a login page you'll log in and you know that's pretty much all you can do so now it is set up you can walk through log into your Plex pass account if you have it as well as configure media libraries. So that is how to install
complex media server on Ubuntu. And again, this was 14.04, but again, it will work on any Ubuntu version 10 and higher. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more guides and tutorials.